I'm going to show you how to set up the basic jQuery slider. It's a pretty nice jQuery plugin, uh, photo slider. Um, you can see that you can go previous or next photo. You can click on which number of photo you want to see. They also have a space for a caption. Um, if you want to go ahead and, and download this and follow along with me, you can just go to basic-slider.com and then scroll down the page and there's an area to go ahead and download all the contents and and stuff for, to go along with the slider. Uh, to do this, I went ahead first to Foundation um, and download the framework. And I used one of their templates just so I could have a little bit of content on my page. So you can see we have some placeholders here, some placeholder text. Um, and the goal of this is I'm going to take that basic jQuery slider and put it right here in this image area. Over here on the right, I have um, this index page open up in my code editor. And I also have my root folder set right here, just practice-root um, with my index page, which is open here, and you can see right here, um, my uh, JavaScript folder, and then um, some foundation CSS, and then an images folder, which is empty. So I'm going to go back to basic jQuery slider and just download this slider right here. Um, we can also look through this page. They show us some examples for usage, activation, some different options you may want to look into, but I probably won't go into in this video. Um, do we want to be responsive? Um, different pretext and automatic, and um, we can change the speed of the, the slider, and we can change it to fade or slide, and we'll see those examples in a minute. So just know that there's a lot of flexibility with this, and uh, simple to use so for that reasons I think this is a pretty good first jQuery plugin for you to set up on your site. So let me go ahead and open this up and, and look at the content. Although they walk us through how to set it up here, I think one of the best ways when you get into it, um, you know, using jQuery into web design development, whatever, is to actually download their files and look at their index file so we can see specifically what they use to get it working on their example site. Um, I went ahead just opened up their index file and we can see it right here. They give us a couple examples. One's a fade example and one's a slide example. You can see um, the transitions are just a little bit different. Um, and you can see right below this they outline what are, um, you know, where we can add our options and what the options they have set for their jQuery code right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open this file up. Let's, I'll take this jQuery fade example and put it right where this image placeholder is. So I'll have a uh, photo slideshow for my site. Um, one thing to note is that they've set the height and width right here, uh, 320 pixels and 620 pixels. Um, I can change that. So this plugin does have a good bit of flexibility. Um, so if we wanna kind of size it to our site, obviously this placeholder is a bit bigger than 620 by 320, um, but I can go ahead and change that so it fits along with my site. Um, and then they also have set here responsive true, and we want to keep our responsive because um, my foundation page right now is responsive, and it'll just make it look a little bit nicer on cell phones and tablets and wherever else people view it. So um, let me go ahead and first open up their index file, my code editor, just kind of see what they're doing. Now, the three big things you're going to think about when we're adding one of these plugins is what am I linking to in the head, right? Um, because typically, you know, we'll have some CSS, some um, jQuery code, and, and some files that we need to link to so this works correctly. Um, this is a, a nice first jQuery plugin to use because they do a very good job of commenting this stuff out. So I can see right here, this bjqs.css file is essential to go with the slider, um, but they also add in some fonts, um, another demo style sheet. Um, we don't necessarily need to use this. And then some jQuery, uh, some links to jQuery and to add the functionality for our slider. Um, so I know pretty much most of the stuff I'm going to need in there. Uh, I don't need this demo.css, but it doesn't necessarily hurt for right now. Um, if I go ahead and link to it. So what I'm going to do is first take all the stuff they've linked in their header. I'm 
going to copy that. And then I'm going to go back to my header. You can see my page right here, style sheet. Um, and here's a link to a script. Let me go ahead and right here and just paste that in. Um, I've kept this pretty well organized, so all my style sheets are here. I can go ahead and save that on my page. Now, I don't have necessarily the content over yet, but I am linked up to, or at least I've set the links to my CSS and some fonts and the JavaScript so I need to use. Okay, let me go back once again to their index file and look through and see where the rest of their stuff's at. Now, they do, like I already mentioned, a really good job commenting this kind of stuff. And we can see right here, uh, they have set an H2 fade example right here on the page. And this is where their content for the slider starts. So I can basically see they have a folder called image, IMG, forward slash banner 01, and that's their photo. Um, that's photo one. And then title automatically generated caption. So we can go ahead and change that text so the captions fit with what we're doing. Right below that, this is their um, jQuery JavaScript code. And all we have to do to add this into our page is I want to highlight this stuff. Remember, if we think about it, um, these are the actual files as so a structure. This is the HTML we're going to add in. This is kind of the functionality right here. So it sets the height and it decides if it's responsive or not. So once again, let me highlight this. And I want to find on my foundation page where I want to add this. Now I know I want to add it here. Let me just go ahead and look through the code and see where I want to put it. Um, looks like I found it right here, line 45. And you can see they just have a placeholder image, 1000 by 400. And they have a div set up around that for the slider, which is not a slider now. They just have a placeholder image, but we're going to put a slider in. And then that's contained within a 12 column uh, div. So all I'm going to do is take this space, this image right here, I'm going to paste over that content I saved from the other page. And I'm going to save it. And let me go back and refresh my, uh, my page. You can see it doesn't look very good. Um, not everything's in there. Although we've added in the functionality and I've added the links back to my CSS and my JavaScript files, um, I haven't necessarily moved those files over to my root folder yet that I'm linking to. So although there is a link represented, when it looks for something, it can't find anything, so it can't, you know, it can't set up my page how it should. So let me go back, and this is the folder where I have um, that came with all my uh, jQuery stuff. So I know I'm going to need to move over these CSS files because I've linked to those. Um, they have an images folder with their kind of stock images. Let me drag those over. I have an empty images folder, so I'll just put them in there. this and um, they have some JavaScript that go along with it so let me drop that in my JS folder and it should be all set so let me close this so my root folder has everything in it let me refresh and there we go um, so it, I haven't resized it yet in my code but um, it is working you can hit the next button everything works same photos, all that kind of stuff. So I'm in pretty good shape right now. Now let me go back to my index file, this page, and look through pretty quickly and make a couple changes. So I know that I wanted the height of this to be 400. So let me change that. And I want the width to be 1,000. Let me save and refresh. Great, so it fills up that whole space. Um, and now, since I copied over their code, it's pretty easy for me to go through and change some of these images. I can add more in pretty easily if I want. I would just add more list items to this um, area right here. Um, I could change out the names of these photos to new photos I would then put in that images folder back in my root folder. Uh, let me just show you with one of them. It's pretty easy to do it after you've seen one. Um, so I've made this kind of just big new slider image. Um, just so we can all know which file I'm talking about. So let me go ahead and take this new slider-image, drop that into my images folder. 
So now I know it's right here, right here in my images folder. And I've named the file new-slider-image.jpg. So let me just change this name right here, new-slider-image.jpg. And let me add in a caption um, right here. Thanks for coming to my website. And obviously change it to whatever you want. I'm showing you for the example. Let me save this again. Refresh. So now my image is in here. This would work the exact same way, <coughs> excuse me, if you um, added in more of these. And um, we could also just copy very easily one of these list items right here. And just add in more photos and refresh. So once again, this is a easy to use flexible J jQuery plugin. Um, Go ahead and, and download it at basic dot or excuse me basic slash slider dot com. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. Um, and good luck with your websites.